Sorry. So you put them in the little containers Monday through Sunday? No. I, I take I don't take the med I don't handle the medications at all. They're handled by nurses. And that's because you're currently in a facility, right? I've been in a facility for the last six months at least. So prior to going into the facility, how did you handle it? Somebody else was hired to do it. Who? Eloise. So, if I ask you about events from back in January 2012, or excuse me, 2017, January 12th, 2017, and I ask you about an interview that you gave to Detective Data, Gata back then, is it your testimony that your memory back then was somehow bad? No. Would it be your testimony that the information you gave to Detective D Gata back in January was accurate? I assume so. No reason to believe it wouldn't be, correct? No. And yet, when we ask you about what you told Detective Gator back in January 2017, mm -hmm. you mostly don't remember that. Is that right? No, I only remember that Frank tried to kill me. But you gave us much much detail, right? About Frank trying to kill me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Is there a reason that at times you'll give us great detail, but at other times you will say, I don't recall, I don't remember? Well, I don't care what color a pill was, but I do care that I was tried to kill, be killed twice in the same night in two different fashions. But you told us what color the pills were. I, objection. Right? Argument. And, and may we approach? You may. Thank you. <clears throat> Ms. Soule, when we left off yesterday, I asked you about when you were made aware of the checks totaling $65,000. Remember that? Do I remember? Excuse me. Do I remember being made aware of the checks? Yes. I'm asking you when. No. You have no recollection of when that was told to you? No. Do you know who told you that? Probably. I don't want you to guess. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. Yes, I do know. Who told you? The counselor, Karen. I can't say her last name. The state attorney told you? Yes, and she showed them to me also. Okay. You've met, and, and please let me preface by saying there's nothing wrong with this. You've met a number of occasions with Miss Frable, correct? Yes, sir. And you've met a number of occasions with Detective Gaeta, correct? Yes, sir. All right. You were asked specifically whether you have previously provided uh, credit cards or your ATM uh, cards to various individuals, correct? Yes, sir. I believe we talked about Mr. Newell and Ms. Harris, correct? Yes, sir. Who's Johnny Drew? I have no idea. You don't recall that name at all? No. Do you recall being asked about Johnny Drew? And if the name is Brad. Hold on, Being asked about Johnny Drew, in your deposition? No. Ma'am, if I show you a copy of your deposition transcript, would that refresh your memory? If you're regarding that person's name, no. Okay. Why wouldn't it refresh your memory? Because I never heard of him, or I do not remember ever hearing of him. All right. Uh, May I look at it? We don't have a copy. Just let me take a look at it. Mr. Kapir, is that D-R-E-W Guru? Yes. At least, that's what the church is. Ms. 
So let me show you what's been marked, but not admitted, as defense composite B, page 17, specifically line 21 through 25. If you could read that to yourself and tell me when you're done. I'm done, right. but I'm finding a confusion here. Okay. What is it that you're confused about? It says I can't remember the name of a woman, but then it talks about a man, Johnny Drew. Oh, yeah. I understand. I'm objection, Your Honor. Okay. Improper impeachment. Who's, who is Johnny Drew? Ooh, it was a refreshing of her memory. It's her fault. She started reading it, so overruled. Ma'am? Who is Johnny Drew? Yes. Johnny must be a woman. Okay. And she must be a woman who worked for me. Okay. Through an agency. And you authorized her to use your credit cards? She did my grocery shopping, so therefore, yes, that's how she paid for the groceries. And in order to do that, you would give her a card, she would take it, buy whatever items are necessary, and you authorized her to sign your name? Yes. How many times did you do that with Miss Drew? It is confusing, isn't it? No, ma'am. I'm just asking how many times did you do that with her? You said for Mr. Miss Drew. Mrs. Drew. Mr. Whoever. Female Drew. How many times? I can't even imagine. Does that mean that there are so many times that yes. you... Yes. Let me finish here. There are so many times that you <clears throat> allowed her to use your credit card and sign your name that you can't even quantify it for us. Can't even put a number on it. For at least how many weeks that she worked for me, so it would have been months, so it would have been... Let's say maybe a hundred times. But I'm not positive. Yes, ma'am. Let me ask this, because um, I'm not sure I understand. You do or don't remember your initial interview with Detective Dave? Objection, Your Honor. May we approach? No. <clears throat> Overruled. Ma'am. Do I, under, do I remember my initial interview with Detective Gator? Truthfully, there was a, so much confusion that day. No, I don't. All right. There were a lot of interviews and a lot of people there. Do you recall paramedics being in your home? You told me they were there yesterday. It's not what I asked you. Do you recall? No, I don't, but you told me they were. Do you have any, any recollection that there were paramedics at your home on two different occasions? On two occasions? I believe it only asked me about one. I'm asking you, if on now January 12th, 2017, do you recall two sets of paramedics being at your home? No. On January 12th, 2017, do you recall multiple police officers at your home? I recall photographers, people picking up clues, people checking everything. Do you recall Marianne Dumbro being at your home? I invited her, yes. Who else do you recall being at your home on January 12, 2017, after the events? If, my, if being at my home means standing on the outside of the gate talking to me? Yes, ma'am. That would be my neighbor. What's her name? We're new neighbors and it's gone right out of my head. All right. How long did you talk to this neighbor? Five minutes. 
Is it true you have no recollection of five officers, two paramedics being in your home 5, 30, 6 o'clock a.m. on January 12, 2017? I can't specifically remember how many people or who they were. <clears throat> On January 12, 2017, you mentioned to us that you called the police. Is that right? I have no idea of the date. Okay. Can you tell us what you called the police for? I don't remember the date, so how would I remember why? So you have no knowledge, no memory whatsoever. Even though you told us yesterday to call the police. Objection, Your Honor. May we approach? You may now. Pardon? You may now. Ma'am, you recall telling us yesterday that you were upset with Mr. Bybee decorating your home for Christmas. Yes. And the reason you were upset with him decorating your home for Christmas was why? Because it was none of his business. No one asked him to, and it, he had no right to go through the things in my house that are personal. I recall saying that I wasn't going to be home for Objection, Your Honor. Asked and answered. Ma'am, you were home for Christmas, correct? I don't remember. You would agree that you were home on December 20th when you called and let me finish and complained initially about Mr. Bright, right? I don't remember the dates. And you recall that you were home on December 29th when you were vacant, correct? Must have been. Did you go anywhere between December 20th and December 29th? I don't remember. Talk for a second about Miss Dumbro. Did you say what? What's your relationship? With you? Now? No, back then, sir, ma'am. This requires a long story. She had fallen upon hard times, and I would come to her aid. All right. So you were friends, close friends. No. You came to her aid based on her need. Not the fact that you were her friend. No. We weren't enemies, but we weren't friends. And this was a need that you determined, not her, right? If someone tells you their sad story, then who determines the need? She never asked you for money, did she? No, she did not. She never said, I need a credit card, did she? Never. She never said, I need cash, did she? No, I made assumptions based on her station in life and the fact that she told me she had not enough money even for groceries. I'm going to object again. This was explored yesterday, asked and answered. Overruled. And, and I would also argue that it's a collateral matter. Overruled. And as a result of you making a decision that you needed money, you started giving it to her. No. Well, she didn't ask for it. How is it that you gave it to her? I gave it to her because I'm a person of a good heart and because I've been blessed with enough to be able to share. Your relationship with Ms. Dumbro now is what? I haven't seen her since the day of the murder of, attempted murder by Mr. Bybee of me. Haven't talked to her, correct? Not to my recollection. <clears throat> communicated with Philomena Ferrer? Philomena came to see me, so yes, we communicated. How many times? Once. Then How she about Miss Harris, Eloise Harris? Regularly. Does she still provide care for you or not? She's awaiting surgery for a hip, being put off because of 
bad doctoring. Okay. Or bad insurance. And in fairness, you're in a facility, so you don't really need Miss Harris any right now, correct? You always need a friend. Okay. Let's talk for a second about your communications with Mr. Biden. Do you know Mr. Biden suffered from migraines? Yes. Did you give him suggestions on how to uh, get medical treatment for migraines? I suggested that there must be a hospital that's specified migraine cure treatment. And in fact, you inquired of your own doctor of he, whether he knew anybody that could help with Mr. Biden's migraines, correct? Yes, I did. And you asked Dr. Lerner, is that your doctor? That's my doctor. If he had any referrals or any That's suggestions. Good. Tell me to. The answer to the question is yes. Pierce, thank, thank you, Your Honor. Ms. Soule, I'm not sure I, I asked you this, but what was the total time, according to you, that Mr. Bybee spent in your house on January 12, 2017? That's a question I cannot answer because that's about the time that the pills were shoved down my throat and I went to sleep. So I would have no idea when he left, but he was gone in the morning, four or five o'clock. He was not. He was gone. That's what I asked, man. He was not there, right? At four or five o'clock. You asked if he was gone. He said, you said he was not. I'm sorry I misunderstood your question. He was not there to my knowledge unless he was hiding somewhere, and I doubt that he was. I'm sure he was planning his escape from trying to kill me. The last time frame that you recall being in your house was what time? In the neighborhood of midnight. And your recollection of the time that he arrived? Somewhere between, it was dark, it was winter though. Somewhere between 7.30 and 8.30. All right. You would agree with me that that's four and a half, four to five hours, is that right? Yes, sir. Does that help you calculate how long, according to you, he was in your residence? Objection, asked and answered. How, how long does Objection. this go on? Judge. Ma'am. I'm going to ask you not to make comments such as that. I believe it has been asked and answered, and I will sustain the objection. Thank you. How long did you stay in your house that day? Do you know? From the time I came home. Until when? Days. All right. When you were, you would agree with me that you were taken away sometime in the evening of January 12, 2017 by ambulance, is that correct? I was taken away sometime on the 12th or the 13th to the hospital for a checkup. And how long did you stay there? Hours. I do not remember that it was in an ambulance. I think I was driven there. Did you stay overnight at the hospital? No. When you say, um, well, tell me what they did to you at the hospital. The normal checkup. Did you have a chest x-ray? You're kidding. Ma'am, did you have a chest x-ray? I don't remember. Okay. Did you have a CT scan? I don't remember what tests were administered. Do you remember who looked at you? Se several different doctors, nurses, Were you familiar? Techs, et cetera. Were you familiar with them? None of them. Your doctor, Dr. Lerner, did not see you while you were in the hospital. Is that fair? That, I believe that's true. Did you eventually go see him once you were released from the hospital? 
You mean that day? Whenever you were released, ma'am. No. I could just have one. Mm-hmm. No further questions. We're finished. The state has the opportunity to ask you some questions as well. So. time you took a shower after Frankie Bybee attacked you? No, I have no recollection of doing so. Sorry. Do you have a memory of calling the police that morning? Yes. Do you have a memory of what time Frank Bybee came to your house on the night of January 11th? Sometime between 7.30 Why are you why are you so sure about that time? Because I would be watching a program or news. Okay. Is that a guess? Or are you telling the members of this jury that you can accurately pin down that it was between 7.30 and 8.30? No, I, I want you to think about that before you answer it. I can't remember the name of the program or if it was news, it was CNN. All right. So. You have a lot of memory gaps about when Frank Bybee came over to your house on the 11th. Do you have a lot of memory gaps? I don't think so. Well, some of the questions that the defense attorney asked you, you responded, I don't remember. Let me ask you this. Do you have a clear memory Frankie Bybee coming to you with blue gloves on his hands and covering your face with his hands and trying to smother you while you sat in your blue chair and struggled for your life. Asked and answered in part. Sustained. Do you have a clear memory of Frankie Bybee trying to shove pills down your throat? Asked and answered. Sustained. Do you have a clear memory of waking up? Objection. Asked and answered. May we approach this Bradley? <coughs> Do you give money to everyone, Miss Soul? No. Do you give money to a lot of people, Miss Soul? Charities mostly. When you say charity, what do you mean? You mean actual institutions that the girls solicit? club. Okay. Do you go around giving out checks for sixty-five thousand dollars to people? No. Did you give Frank Bailey your credit cards? No. Okay. And did you allow him to sign your name to credit cards? No. Did you tell him to take $400 out of your account almost every day when you were at the Sarasota Memorial Hospital at Consulate Healthcare? No, ma'am. Now, you were asked about John Drew when the defense attorney was uh, talking to you. And do you remember who Johnny Drew is now? Yes, I do now. I thought it was a man originally. OK. Well, let's talk about Johnny Drew. Did you ever give Johnny Drew any money except for giving her your credit card and asking her to provide groceries for you? I paid her. In addition to the work that she did for you. Did I give her money? Yeah, did you give her money? No. Anything else? Nothing for you. You may step down. Thank you very much. I'm out. Thank God.
Sidebar regarding scheduling folks.